Well, g'day. It's raining, but it's still barbecue weather. So, what have we got going here? In the pig today, we have a little bit of fire with a tiny bit of charcoal that I threw in before that rolled off the side and didn't really stay in the spot to heat up. But the flames of the wood, which is that beautiful wood that I've got from those guys over there, um, is bumping the frames, flames through. Look at that. Stinking hot. What have I got in? Got a little bit of pork. And the pork has been uh, roast wrapped. It's from a supermarket chain. Just look at my pig. It's become discolored over time. It's got patina all over it, as the good guys would say. I haven't used my little diffuser yet. I'm gonna get into that. But let's just see where this little bit of piggy is at the moment. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, it's just, it's just gonna be delicious. It always is. I did a little quiche in here yesterday, also from the supermarket, and just peeled back the foil, roasted it off, and the wood and all the charcoal just imparts a delicious flavour. The crust on the on the quiche came out quite quite uh, crisp with a light smoky flavour. Anyway, I'm going to turn this fire down a little bit by closing the door up. Um, as you can tell, I have got a little cheaty apparatus on the side, just to... That little bit of wire seems to work for me. Anyway, I'll show you it when it's done. Love my pig. Oh, it's done. Okay. Now it's done, let's have a, see what I've burnt. And uh, I did get that fire down. It took a while because I even had to shut the vent off to get that uh, going. So the back vent's open, but the chimney vent on the little smoker oven, I had to shut that right off. And, and she raced up over the brown bits into the pink section for a minute and then uh, came good. So. Now, as much as she's a little bit brown on the bottom, uh, let's just uh, take this fella out here. And yeah, a little bit brown on the bottom. A bit, um, oh, sorry, just a bit of potato from last night's roast uh, that we had for lunch today. And, That, just annoying. I'm gonna burn my fingers. Just a second. That's that. Sorry about that. Right. Roast, ready. And yes, like I said, the bits that were stuck on my tongs were actually the quiche and the roast potatoes from last night. So, um, right. Shut this up for a second. Go inside. And we'll let that rest. We'll let that rest for 10 minutes and then I'll carve it up for us. I'm just gonna let you know that if you're gonna slice up a beautiful bit of meat and serve it for dinner, you really wanna put it with something super yummy, healthy like beans, Spanish onion, a bit of garlic, fresh baby tomatoes, freshly grated, beetroot and carrot <clears throat> with a, maybe some spinach but squeeze of lime and uh, a little bit of pickled ginger and uh, there's a roasted sesame dressing that is just delicious on this put it all together right here that's it there's a healthy accompaniment salad with all those goodies mixed in on some baby spinach and here's the pork, standard shop roast. And uh, I've already sneaked a slice out. <laughs> it was yummy. Let's hope the family enjoys it. See you next time. Ah, oh, stop it. Always wanting more. So I threw some avocado on it. <laughs>